right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, bring in the cropped photo strips that we walked through in a previous video. Um, a link to that video is in the comments below in case you'd missed that. It walks you through cropping our strip sets using Photoshop and Photoshop elements so that they are an easy import into the uh, Darkroom Booth application. So let's get started on this. Um, I'm going to open up Darkroom Booth and I'm going to choose a uh, new template. We're going to go ahead and call this one a uh, single 2x6. We're going to make sure we have page size of 2x6. We'll leave the defaults of 600 and 1800 with a resolution of 300. Everything defaults good. Now, following up on my uh, on the uh, last video, I have a uh, background that is cropped and an overlay that is cropped. Um, I choose to save those with a hyphen cropped. Um, you, you could do so too. It makes it a little easier to pick them out. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in we're going to go to add artwork. And then we're going to browse to that directory. And for me that is uh, in my downloads. If I can find those here for you quickly. And underneath uh, this folder. So I'm going to go inside here and here's my background. I'm going to open that. I'm going to leave everything default and this will center it on the screen. And then next I'm going to come in. I'm going to do artwork again. Browse and I'm going to find my overlay. And I'm going to bring that in also. And that has everything there except for my photos. So we want to uh, quickly take care of those. Um, what we want to do is, is actually add photo spots. Um, the photo locations are present on the uh, Photoshop files. I'll show you that here quickly. And um, you can see the widths here and the heights are all defined. Um, we're going to make use of those inside of here. And um, our widths on our strips are 525 and 350 high. And since we've done our cropping and our offsets are 20 and 22, so we will actually have a uh, X of 36, and in this case, a top of 228. That's going to be my first spot. I'm going to move that underneath of the um, overlay, and then I'm going to do a Control C, Control V twice to get me a couple extras. I'm just going to draw these on down and that and that'll get us in the ballpark. I'm not a strong darkroom user. I don't know if they have an auto center feature. Double clicking on this, we're going to change this to photo number two. Double check here. We know our left is 36. And for this photo, the top is 605. And then we're going to double click on this one, make that photo three. Oops. And then we're going to go to location. We're going to again be left 36. And this one is a Y offset of 980. And then I'm just going to do a save and name it whatever I need to. And I now have that available to me in our in my dark room uh, strips right here, and that's all there is to doing that. Um, we're going to make a, a a predefined set of photo locations available to everyone. We'll post a link in the um, comments below, and we'll also have it on the blog once those are ready. That way, you can just quickly import based on which one you have, and won't have to mess with the photo spots. But until we get those, this will get you going.